Aloha, good morning, welcome to Kahu's Corner this morning, uh, Monday, <coughs> excuse me, Monday morning after a long uh, holiday weekend, Thanksgiving weekend, I pray that you all had a blessed time with family, especially in this time of year, giving thanks and just a time of being close to one another with family and friends and giving thanks for all of the things that God has bless us with uh, and then opportunities that we can bless others um, so again we starting off in a new work week ending on a four day weekend some people just probably still traveling or maybe on vacation still yet so wherever you are if you're trying to get back home or you just enjoying that uh, long vacation at a good time of the year I pray that you rest get some much needed rest and be blessed for the rest of your time off for those of us who got to go back to work i uh, just pray for us as we get back out on the roads we get back to our jobs um, whatever job it it may be you know we got to get uh, back into the groove of things uh, think about safety think about others at your work site their safety coming back from some time off, some much needed rest, uh, but time to get back to work after a lot of good food for the last four days uh, for myself. I'm excited to get back to work, uh, get back into the groove of things because here in a few weeks uh, we celebrate Christmas and ringing in the new year. So, so two more holidays at the end of the year again. The busiest time of the year we have opportunities to help other people share the gospel message um, and just be available for service to God that's all he asks us as his children is to uh, keep our eyes open our ears open to him and the leading of the Holy Spirit and it can be just small acts of kindness it, it you know, when you think of serving others, oh, you know, we've got to stop our whole day. we got to, but it might just be little things in a grocery store, at the post office. Uh, every little opportunity, God uses that um, for us to give us the opportunity to serve other people in our community. Um, so, again, just it might be just a small little thing that if we don't... Um, be alert to it we might miss it um, and this is the perfect time of the year but not only this time of the year we should be uh, have our eyes and ears open to where we can serve but throughout the whole year um, but this is the one time every year that people uh, especially in stress we talked about stressful times last week preparation for thanksgiving it doesn't stop it probably ramps up after Thanksgiving when we um, need to plan for Christmas um, and you know with economy inflation money jobs all of these things come into play wherever you at whatever job you have how big or small your family is uh, it all comes into play this time of the year how can I provide in this time of the year so a lot of people high stress taking trips all of that stuff but if we can just find a quiet place and, and just reflect on God's word and his promises because they're true uh, they're not wavering like us uh, they're something that we can build on something that we can trust is his truth in his word uh, and just trust in him it's a daily task. Uh, it takes discipline uh, for myself to uh, to pray, to read God's word, to trust in Him, uh, because it's just up and down, up and down. You know, like James said in the book of James, it's like a man tossed in the sea to and fro. You know, one day we're good, next day we we're stressing out. One minute we're so in tune with God, we're spending our time with Him, relying on His promises, walk out of the house, and then the waves just start crashing on us. And so um, 
I just pray for myself and you that uh, we can just take time, be still in His Word, pray, asking for your peace, for His peace, His wisdom, so we can get through yet another stressful time in another year. Um, yesterday I had the opportunity to do the devotion. I kept it real simple about being thankful, thanksgiving, um, lots of lots of scripture of giving thanks to God, uh, being thankful for brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, and just being very thankful for the simple fact that uh, someone uh, gave up his life for me so that in him and through him and the blood that he shed upon the cross if I put my faith and trust in him uh, I can have everlasting life through Jesus and I know where my home is at uh, so just being thankful for that um, to know where I'm going and um, that somebody loved me so much that he gave up his life uh, was buried and conquered death on my behalf um, so that in him and through him I can have everlasting life uh, so I'm very very thankful for that um, and yesterday I just kind of hit on uh, Psalms 106 verse 1 uh, it just simply the writer just simply says give thanks uh, for God is good uh, at times you might not seem like he is because we're going through things in our lives but God is with us he won't never leave us nor forsake us he says in Joshua I'll never leave you nor forsake you if he you his child he's right there with you uh, it might be something that we can learn through our circumstance or the times that we're going through uh, God just wants us to depend on him more to learn whatever circumstance you're going through uh, to depend on his word or if you're not even saved by his son's blood is you have the opportunity uh, to build that relationship um, so there's always things that we need to look for and be thankful of um, and yesterday's um, praise and worship uh, kahuki just opening us the service up doing announcements and sharing his heart and brother Jared's um, message about some of the songs we sing and really dissecting those songs look at what the true meaning of it is as far as the Hebrew song Imo Matov and Kanaka Vai Vai uh, about the rich young man who didn't want to let go of all his earthly things and To know that you know I used to sing Kalako Vai Vai all the time and they didn't know the meaning but now Jared really got the spark I think in all of us trying to understand the true meaning of these songs so then when we sing it we know what we're singing about so I appreciate what he God had led him to do yesterday and, and giving us an inside track on some of these songs that we sing uh, on a weekly basis and we can just take that and understand more songs uh, so thank you for that for God leading him in, in that direction uh, and then I just ended my devotions with uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 uh, and Paul just writes to the church about circumstances about things going on past, present, future and then in chapter 5 uh, down in verse 16 you know he comes to a conclusion and just tells the uh, the brethren of the church eh, to verse 16 rejoice always verse 17 then he says pray without ceasing and then in verse 18 he says give thanks in all things in all circumstances whatever time of the year whatever we going through uh, there's got to be something that we can give thanks for why why do we want to do that the verse finishes uh, because that's God's will for us in Christ Jesus um, if we can give God thanks for his only begotten son that he sent to us uh, that whoever chooses a relationship 
with Christ and puts his trust and faith in him shall not perish and have everlasting life. Um, if we can truly give thanks for that, uh, you know, some of the circumstances we go, we have brothers and sisters around us that can come around, comfort us, encourage us, pick us up. Uh, and that's what God asks us of, ask of us as his children to help one another. All of Paul's letters talk about helping one another within the church, but we got to take that outside. Uh, wherever God gives us the opportunity to, to be of help somewhere. Um, so that time, uh, this time of the year, excuse me, is, is the opportune time. But let's carry that throughout the year into 2023. And just look for even more opportunities. Because that's God's will for us in Christ Jesus. So again, back on a long work week. Uh, those of us that's going back to work, please be safe at your work. Be safe on the roads. Um, don't know what the conditions are going to be like uh, as we get sunlight today. There's supposed to be some rain coming in from the south. And... If some of you already know, or probably see the glow on the west to south side of the island. Yeah, Mauna Loa is finally um, uh, erupting. Um, this morning's report said there was some places quarter inch of ash. Uh, so we won't know until we get out and see what's going on. But, um, excuse me, that was my phone. But please be safe on the roads at your work. Uh, get home safely today to your families and just have a blessed week again uh, Christmas will start ramping up there's a Waimea Christmas parade coming up this coming Saturday again a lot of people a lot of traffic a lot of things going on it's just going to keep getting busier and busier uh, as we lead uh, into the new year so have a blessed day be safe Hello.